So the first thing I need to do is jump out and go find Flickr. So here's Flickr. Uh, that's Flickr without an E in it, F-L-I-C-K-R dot com. You can see that I can sign up. There's a place to explore. I can go out and create, and it's not going to let me do that until I put some information in. Now, if I'm already a member, I can sign in, which I am. But let's do a new one because this will be the first time for you there. So we'll go to sign up. When I do, it takes me out, and I've got a chance to create my user name and interface here. So I'll do digital for the name, core for the last. If I can get it typed in here. Uh, I'll need to go through and create a Yahoo user name. And this will be Yahoo, whatever I create here. And I'm going to do com underscore 1020 uh, at yahoo.com. This will be a, a, a new username and email if I choose to use it that way. I won't. I'll put in a phone number here. Here's my cell phone for the college. I'll be mail. I'll take a January and let's go to, I don't know, 15th seems like a good date. And the college was founded in 1903. Let's see if it lets me be that old here. We'll go all the way down to 1903 and look at there. I can be 115, oh, what, 100 plus years old here. So I'll put in an optional, and this is a recovery number that I can use in case I can't get into my site. I can have it send some information to either one of these. Uh, and I won't do relationship. There are many things you can do in Yahoo, but I don't. I really just use it as a place to put my information or my pictures, and I'll say OK. Now I get one of these beautiful verification codes here, and I can see that this one for me is P-Y-Y-U-U-E-R. And I'll type it in, tell it to submit the code. And believe it or not, it's that easy. I now am a Flickr user. Here we are. We're in Flickr. It wants me to confirm that my name is digital, last name core, that my username, uh, and then it shows me again what my new Yahoo email is. If you already had a Yahoo email, you could use it instead to sign in. My guess is not many of us use Yahoo that way. Flickr is such a great site, a place to put tons of videos and of uh, pictures as well. So all I have to do now is just to go through and click Next, uh, and it will take me out and say, hey, it's time to put some photos in. Uh, and it's got a very quick tour. It's only about 35 seconds, and it will show you all the different places you can go inside of Flickr. I'll let you do that on your own. All right, so I have an opportunity here to select files to upload. So I'm going to press select. Mine are on the desktop. So I'll go to my desktop and I find a folder that's called 1020 Digital Core and inside of it is another folder. Uh, and you can see I have folders for each of the pics that are required for unit number one. So they're all sitting there. I'm just going to decide which folder I want to take in first. And I think I'll take the close-up smiles first. So I'll select the uh, close-up smiles. And I'll go through and select all of those photos by dragging over them. And select Choose. You can see up here in the uh, right-hand corner, it's uploading four pictures, which I ask it to upload. Depending on how fast your internet connect, this may go very fast or it might be moderate speed. For me, it feels a little slow today, but <laughs> it's hard not to be impatient when it comes to uploading. So there are the four photos that I told to, to, for it to upload. Right now, they're sitting in Flickr. I've already started my Flickr camera roll. I can select all because I do. I want to go through and change the privacy for all of them. So over here, I have a privacy button. And I'm going to make these pictures public so that everyone can see them, and more importantly for you, so that I can see them uh, on Flickr and, and grade them. So you can see they all have an eyeball next to them saying that, hey, these are available now uh, to be seen by the public. And I'm also going to go down and edit, and I'm going to give them all the same title. These are my close-up smiles. And you can individually, if you wanted to go through and, and give them all their own a name and description, you can do that as well. For me today, the easiest thing seems to be is to go through and just call them Close Up Smile. So once I have all that done, I'm going to go through and push Save. And now we have four pics in Flickr that can be seen by the public and that have a title called Close Up Smile. All right, it's time to upload some more photos. So if you go up into the upper right-hand corner, you'll see the button that says Upload. 
So let's click that button and we have a big blue button in the center of the screen now saying choose photos and videos. So let's do that. Let's click it. Once you have, it takes me back out and says, well, where do you want to take them from? I'm going to take them from my close-up playful folder. It shows me that I have four photos that I'd like to upload. On the uh, left-hand side here, I have some options where I can go through and tag all of these and make some decisions right now on how I want them uploaded. But instead, right now, I'm just going to take them all in. So I'll go over and say, hey, upload these four photos. It's asking me if I want them public or private. I'm going to take it public, and I say continue. Yeehaw! And it takes me right out to my photo stream. So you can see now we've got eight photos setting inside of our photo stream. We're well on our way to completing uh, this unit's objectives with Flickr. So we'll just continue to repeat the same process of choosing the big blue button, uh, telling it to upload, and choosing the files that we'd like to upload. I'll take in the business and tell it to choose those. Make sure that they're all, they look appropriate and tell them to upload. And once again, it will pull them in. I do want them to be public and it uploads. And I'll do the same process again with my camera choice photos and take all eight of those. So there you have it. It's that easy to upload photos and place them into Flickr. And what a great opportunity. These photos now, anywhere that I can get to the internet, are available to me, as well as there are many ways that I can play with these photos, leaving them on the net uh, to create uh, screensavers or to have some kind of a display that would run from the net uh, in a slideshow. So it's just a, a great freeware place to back up and save and have access to all your photos. Great job. We've made a lot of progress in getting all of our photos inside of Flickr, but it's time to personalize it a bit. And I'd like to start with our buddy icon over here. This round circle that looks like a generic um, camera with a rainbow in it. I'm all about the rainbow, but I'd like this to be more personalized. So let's go ahead and put in a pic of ourselves. And we've got all kinds of pictures we've taken for this very reason. So all we need to do is click on this button and you'll see a little pencil appear as we hover over it. If you'll click, it will take us out to our photo stream and we can choose which photo we'd like to use as our buddy icon. So we'll go through and I'm going to choose, oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's not fun looking at pictures of yourself ever, is it? But we'll choose this one. That looks like it'll work for us. Uh, and notice that once I've chosen it, now I get to resize and reposition it. Now it's only going to allow you to reposition uh, to the top or bottom. So if you ever reach the point where it won't move anymore, it's saying, hey, there's no more picture to move this up or down. So select a photo to be your buddy icon and resize and position it and say OK. And then let's go out and do the same thing with our banner display. And we'll go out and choose a display. Now this one's a little different. Once you've chosen it, it then takes you back out and lets you drag to set the position. And notice that it can't get smaller or larger. It can only move vertically, not horizontally. So I'm going to reposition mine so it's right where I want it to be. That looks just about right for me. And I'll say Save. And you see the flicker pinwheel go around and here we have it. We've personalized our Flickr site. Now if you ever want to change this you can just go back and click on whichever the buddy icon or the banner display and choose a new photo if you choose and uh, you can resize it and stick it in and save. It's fairly simple and it's so easy to use. It's great to have available. It's a wonderful way to back up for free your photos as well as to be able to download and play with them. So hopefully the question you have now is, well, they're in Flickr, but how do I get them off of Flickr if I want to download them to my computer or to my phone or uh, when I'm not sitting at the computer where I originally had the photos? Well, that's what this download button is to the lower right-hand corner here. If you click on it, you'll see that you get square, small, medium, large, original, or you can do view all sizes. Man, this one was originally big. So I'll select view all sizes and here are the options for download. 
So I can take it as small as a 75 by 75, or I can take the original because I'm the owner of it. You can see I can also edit um, for licensing or that I can go by and look who it's by. But here is where you would download photos. Now if I want to go back, I can just do the back button or select the back to photo stream and I'm back in my photo stream. So there you have it, your own personal profile inside of Flickr, a wonderful place to store, to have access to, and to download your photos and videos for free.